Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, I cannot say that openly on YouTube, but if I have to choose between coffee, tea, and don't go there, you okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Industrial Communication Channel powered by MR Studios. On a regular basis, we are going to brief you on the latest development, trends and everything else that is happening in the area of virtual, augmented and mixed reality. In today's episode, we are talking about user interfaces and user experience designs. And with me today is our colleague Markus, our head of UI and UX at MR Studios. Maybe as a first thing, you tell us a little bit about yourself. What are you actually doing? Where you based and why did you end up at MR Studios? That's a lot of questions I want. So I'm I'm a very passionate user experience designer. This means um, taking care literally of the user experience, which means everything you see visually on the app, like the interface, the, the buttons you click, the colors, all those things, but also making sure everything, and that's the most important part actually, um, solves uh, yeah serves our goal solves the problem so that our clients get the value out of the products we build for them um, making sure we don't build something boring but it's kind of an exciting experience and making sure all of that is usable so like in our case the, the clients they come to the trade shows and interact with our apps for the first time ever yeah. right so it's quite important to put a lot of emphasis on making things simple and usable um, and that's very high level basically what i'm doing for many 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 years already and Maybe to recap, recap a bit further, what actually means user interface and user experience design? What does it involve? Yes, so user experience design means we um, try to design the entire um, usability, appearance, like the entire experience of the products we're building. Um, so that's the interface you see on the screen. But that's also the concept behind it, like which which kind of models do we use, which uh, which steps in the story are we using, which elements do we include, which do we not include, like all those things to make this to make the products we build a whole holistic experience, which is fun to use and which is also helpful and gets the point across which the companies want to communicate. No, yeah, and I can definitely tell the user experiences and user interface designs. It's the thing you come across first when you open an augmented or virtual reality application. This is what you spot first and what gives you the first impression. So it needs to be really good. Um, in terms of VR and AR, what is the difference between a user interface in this area compared to, let's say, a normal food delivery app on an iPhone? <laughs> yeah, I think the one important part right now is the novelty of it. So people don't have a lot of experience with it. So you can't really like all those other apps you have on your phone they all work more or less similarly so you just need to make sure you do mostly what all the others are doing in VR AR you don't have that so you have to be very very careful what you do and make need to make sure it's very very simple so everyone mm. can use it um, the second thing is um, you are in a virtual 3d world which is quite overwhelming at the yeah. or can be overwhelming at the first time so another reason to make it simple um, and the third thing is you have a lot of possibility to introduce um, fun and interactive ways which you can't do on a flat screen hmm. so we can play with uh, spacing uh, spacing out uh, interfaces in the 3d world yeah. um, and that, that's quite helpful because that's how people actually think and navigate places so um, it's, it's quite different from any other design so in the end it looks simple but there's still a high complexity behind it yeah we, we have say, to work we have to yeah. work very hard to get it into a simple form which everyone can use and in the end it needs to run on all kinds of platforms you, not only the 3d glasses you have which have complete different types of controls yeah. but also augmented reality where you project something in a room with virtual objects or simple touch environment 3d on an yeah. ipad or touch screen wherever you use it so high complexity i can understand now we have done multiple uis and user experience designs at mr studios with you for multiple clients could you maybe elaborate a bit more on one of the projects we did for instance the one for system air where we developed an entire guideline for ui ux design yeah that was a very interesting project because it was uh, across multiple projects actually multiple products and what was interesting there we could develop a proper framework where we set um, certain content structures certain interactions in place which we tested over time 
and with that realized what works best and is easiest for users um, and at the same time gain some efficiency for system air so we could build new apps quicker um, and now everything is integrated and consistent. One element in the previous design was that we for example had the radial menu yeah. which might have been a good thought in the beginning but yeah, it uh, turned out it was not because it's not something which you're used to using. It kind of came a little bit from this controller, which you see is has this round controller. So it made sense or seemed to make sense at the beginning. Um, but it's just not how users use it. Users have the thumb mm. and they are used to the phone interface, which is up, down, left, right. So we changed it to just something, again, simpler. It's a much simpler pattern if you just have to think one dimensional instead of two dimensional or like in navigating yeah. circles. Talking generally about VR and AR, where do you think the journey goes? A very interesting question. I mean, obviously we are at the beginning years of AR and VR, and I expect it to grow a lot. Currently, I think most people see it more as a playful thing. Like mm. you, if you present an AR VR app, you kind of benefit from it because it is AR VR and that's cool and modern and hip and that's going to change. Um, I think it will become or will be used in more and more serious contexts. Um, help companies increase their efficiency, help drive sales, uh, help uh, provide better customer service, those kind of uh, yeah, more proper applications than yeah. just doing marketing applications. However, even there, like I, I don't want to, like I say, just um, yeah. because it's, it really runs on the novelty of it. Um, but it's a very effective tool and it will just expand into all those other areas. Mm. Totally understood. And you can see at MR Studios by all the apps we did already where the journey is going. It's moving into more and more directions with us focusing on industrial and augmented um, virtual reality. We see that it's moving away from sole marketing and sales purposes towards a more um, maintenance approaches, um, education for the, and for the staff. Um, manufacturing etc etc so it's spreading out everywhere and it will come into more and more areas so thanks Marcus for joining us here in Prague thank you to everyone for watching this episode of the industrial communication channel and see you next time right here on YouTube bye bye bye